Hey, how's going on YouTube? Welcome back to another amazing video. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can reduce the input latency on your PC in any game in 2025. This guide will help you to optimize your keyboard and mouse inputs and also help you to significantly reduce your input delay. So without wasting any more time, let's get started with the video. All right, so the first thing that we are going to be touching in this video is the mouse settings. And for that, simply just look up for a mouse settings on your PC and then open it up. Do is click on additional mouse settings. And then once mouse properties opens up in front of you, you're going to have to make sure that the double click is set to the sixth tick over here. That is one, two, three, four, five, sixth tick right over here, which is exactly the center. Then you're going to have to go over to pointer options. And then for the motion, you're going to have to do the same thing over here as well. And then you'll find something called enhanced pointer precision. You're gonna have to turn this thing off if you are using a physical mouse. Once again, if you have a trackpad or if you are a laptop user, do not do that because it's gonna make it incredibly slow. The way pointer precision actually works is it takes the actual drag of your mouse instead of a virtual drag. So your mouse might feel a little bit more speedy on your trackpad, but if you're using a mouse, you don't really need this feature and this will make your mouse movements one to one which will in turn reduce input latency significantly while you're playing your games also if you're on a laptop you are probably using a physical mouse for playing your games and while you are doing that session i would recommend you guys to disable pointer precision as well once that is done you're gonna have to click on ok step number two is keyboard properties and for that you have to search for keyboard over here and then open this thing up once you're in the keyboard properties you're gonna have to head over to this speed section and then you'll find something called character repeat you'll find repeat delay that you have to set this thing to short and the repeat rate should be set to the fastest one available over here then you have the cursor blink rate and i recommend you guys to set it from here to here it is the fifth tick from the end and once that is done click on apply once that is done click on ok now before moving ahead i would like to introduce you guys to hone.gg which you guys can download from the link in the description below it is a super useful tool which can help you optimize your PC for gaming. Once you download it and open it up, you guys can see a very simple interface like this where you guys have recommendations. You can simply head over to the optimizations tab and here are a few optimizations that can help you to reduce your input latency drastically. First one is optimized windows timer resolution that you guys can turn on. Second one is general windows optimizations that you're gonna have to turn on. Third one is windows power plan that you're gonna have to turn on. Disable power throttling, disable game bar, disable hibernation. Then you have dedicated optimize mouse, optimize IO operations, disable power saving features. Once you're done applying all of these settings, you guys can simply click on restart now and then boot up your PC in a brand new elite gaming mode. Once again, I have left a link to home.gg down in the description below. And if you apply all of these settings, which I've shown in this video, it will definitely help you to improve your input later see drastically so make sure to go check out home.gg from the link in the description below next step is one of the most important one that is the device manager and for that simply search for device manager on your pc right over here and once it opens up you're gonna have to look over to system devices click on it and then you'll find a ton of devices over here the first one is composite bus enumerator you're gonna have to right click and disable this device secondly you're gonna have to find high precision event timer and you're gonna have to disable this device as well click on yes now the next Next two devices are really optional and some of you might have it so look for numeric data processor and then also look for SM bus controller. If you have all four of them just turn all of them off and it will help you to reduce your input latency drastically. Once that is done just stash it back and now you have to go over to universal serial bus devices and then bus controllers and over here you'll find root hubs. What you guys have to do is right click on them head over to their properties power management and make sure to deselect allow the computer to turn off this device to save power you're gonna have to make sure to do all of that for all of the root hubs and that will help you to disable power saving features on your usb devices once you're done with all three of the root hubs what you have to do is find universal serial bus devices that can be your led controllers and you're gonna have to go head over to their properties and driver and make sure that they are all up to date once it is done simply close them next step is indexer options and for 
after that simply search for indexing options over here and once it opens up head over to advanced and then click on rebuild click on ok this might take a while so you're gonna have to restart your pc a few times and once that is done it will help you to reduce your input latency drastically next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your pc and once you're over here look for your local disk c click on create and name it input delay just so you can remember it i highly recommend you guys not to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any kind of data loss on your pc once that is done simply click on close and close system properties next step is the input delay fix guide i'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below you guys can simply download it from there and in here i have left four simple folders this guide contains four folders over here the first one is batch optimizations which has a ton of batch files over here the first one being dns cache cleaner and it helps you to run a command that is a flush dns you guys can also do that by running it on a command prompt but an easier method is by running them as administrator this will help you to clean your dns cache second one is fix input delay batch file and if you open that up in notepad you guys can see it helps you disable process mitigation and do a few registry changes that you guys can check them out next one will be disabling power saving features on usb and ethernet cables and once that is done it will help you to save a hell load of input latency on your pc and to run that you can simply right click run it as administrator and that should be done automatically next one is log file cleaner and once again if you edit that in notepad you guys can see that it helps you to delete some log files of your pc this may cause input latency issues and and cleaning log files periodically will help you to get rid of all of the built up input latency once again to run it you can right click on this as administrator and last one is a temporary files cleaner it does not do a lot of improvements but once again it helps you to give a 0.7 to 1 percent improvement improvements in your input latency so once again if you can consider that so right click and then this is administrator again it will help you to clean all kind of temporary files off of your pc second one is keyboard latency fix and over here i have left keyboard buffers for your pcs and once again i would recommend you guys to leave your keyboard and mouse specs down in the comments below and i'll be telling you guys which buffer to choose from over here third folder over here is mouse latency registries in which i have left mouse speed fix and if you edit that in notepad you guys can see that that i have set up a few sensitivity values over here and smooth curve values which are hexadecimal values again so these values are optimal for your mouse to move and once again i have tried them i use them on a regular basis and it is completely safe all of these settings are also being used by pros so once again just right click on this as administrator and that should do the job last one is the programs folder and here is the trickiest part because you're gonna have to carefully follow every single step over here here. First one is a filter key setter and it is relatively very simple. Simply right click on this as administrator and this will open up filter key setter right in front of you. Now what you have to do is set up these values. Ignore under 0 ms, repeat delay 150 ms, repeat rate 25 ms and for the flags you're just gonna have to keep on the second one that is available and then disable all of the other flags over here. Click on OK. Next one is polling rate setter. You're gonna have to open it up. It is a super useful tool which helps you to set up polling rate rate on your hardware and once again the higher the polling rate the better it is so you'll find mice and keyboards which are the two most important ones that we are going to head over so first one is mice which is actually your mouse you're gonna have to click on the rate button right over here and then over here you're gonna have to set this thing to 1000 as a selected rate and then you're gonna have to click on the mice once again head down to keyboard and then you'll have to look for your keyboard device over here now once again in the keyboard section Section, you might as well see your mouse and if you have a device family such as red gear razor HyperX, you can also see a control device which is actually your razor software so i don't recommend you guys to change the value from this application you can instead head over to razor synapse and then do the settings over there but if you guys have a generic keyboard and mouse or if you guys have a keyboard and mouse in which you cannot set your polling rate from the application you guys have to click on the uh, 1000 milliseconds or any default value over here and then set it to 1000 from default and once that is done you guys are now on the highest polling rate and it will help you to get the lowest
lowest response time. Last and foremost, the most complex one is the X mouse button control. It is a setup file that you have to run and then open up this application called X mouse button control installed on your PC. It could open up in the app tray, so you're gonna have to double click and open it up from here and make sure that the default profile is selected and you guys have to go down to the settings and then in the general section, you guys have to make sure to click on bypass all actions when scroll lock is on. Then you guys have to head over to the advanced tab and then you guys have to make sure to click on a remap simulated input from other applications. Click on debounce ignore rapid mouse buttons and then also you have to click on reset mouse hooks when resuming from sleep. Once all three of them enabled, you guys have to enable fix up debounce tilt wheel auto repeat. The initial rate should be set to 1ms and the debounce rate should also be set to 1ms. Repeat tilt rate 1ms over here, 1ms between the keystroke delay and then click on disable inactivity timer while inactive for 30 minutes over here and then windows low level hook timeout should be 200 milliseconds then you have cpu priority over here and i would not recommend you guys to go anything above normal so select normal click on ok and then click on close once all of that is done simply close this now next step to reduce your input latency and the last step that is is heading over to system configuration on your pc once you are here what you have to do is head over to the services section and then click on hide all microsoft services and then from over here you're gonna have to disable all kind of unnecessary services like adobe update service browser update service printer services if you do not have a printer mysql or any kind of hosting server hosting services midi services or overwolf or any kind of overlay application services which you do not frequently use and once that is done you're gonna have to disable them and then click on ok the less number of services running on your pc the better your input delay is and then head down to the tool section click on open task manager and this will open up task manager in front of you and you're gonna have to turn off all unwanted startup applications over here i personally recommend you guys to disable as many as you can because not a lot of you guys use all of the applications right after the boot of your pc just keep those applications enabled which are really useful to you when you start your pc and the ones that you go after right after the boot of your pc and disable all of the seasonally or occasionally opened applications which you might not need every now and then. And once all of that is done, it will help you to reduce your input latency and not just that, it will also help you to reduce your booting time. With all that said, just close everything and now you guys can drop into the game with the best settings and lowest input delay possible. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to do leave like and smash the subscribe button because it really helps me grow the channel. You're really close to 210,000 subscribers and I believe in you guys. You guys can make it happen. So click on the red subscribe button down below and we'll see you all in another amazing video until then stay tuned keep watching bear fox and peace out